Hey Sagittarius, it's me Stormy and here is your horoscope for December 2018 and out the gate, let's say happy birthday. It is a good time. Not only that, your ruling planet Jupiter has come back home. This is going to be, I think, a really good month. Not only that, December is the month, Sag, where we get to take a deep breath. We've been doing a lot of retrograding. We've been doing a lot of shifting and adjusting and now we get to take a little bit of a deep breath. So December is a month of progress and just kind of dropping your shoulders down from your ears and going woosa before we jump into 2019. Now before we jump into what's going on in December, keep in mind that the new blog is up at stormygrace.com where you can see all the major astrological transits and aspects for December and all the way through 2019, okay? So you can also click in the description box down below to get access to that. And you had in your last few days of the 45,000 subscriber gift, a 15 minute appointment for $15. So if you'd like to check that out as much I thank you to you for 45,000 subscribers. Feel free to click in the description box and snag it. They're there until they're gone, okay? All right, Sagittarius, so it is birthday time, but there's other stuff happening this month as well, okay? When we initially come into the month, we're coming in with Uranus, who is in retrograde, but he stepped back into the sign of Aries, okay? Now, Aries is about identity. Now here's the deal, Aries, this energy with Uranus here in Aries, it's been here for seven years. This is nothing new. You have already seen the work that you've done here. And this energy is lighting up the fifth house space for you. The house of joy, the house of play, self-expression, children, risk, fun, right? So you've been working on this for the last seven years. And now as Uranus steps back, what you're going to want to do is first and foremost, look back over the last seven years. Where have you brought more joy into your life? Where have you made progress in fifth house related issues? That's the very first thing because you've got to see where you've come from to know where you're going, right? So look at that. Celebrate your progress, Sagittarius. Heck, it's birthday time. Celebrate everything, okay? But seriously, celebrate your progress. Now, the other thing you want to do with this particular energy, especially this month, because it will help you moving forward, is to look at what actions, attitudes, and behaviors you still have that are standing in the way of your full expression, okay? Think outside of the box. That's what that Uranian energy is about. So if something's still sitting in front of you and you're trying to tackle that, or there's something brand new, totally out of your comfort zone in front of you, go towards it, right? And go towards it a little bit differently so that you can actually progress with that Uranian energy, all right? Fifth house, it could even bring some interesting romance to your table, even though it's still retrograde. So kind of keep that in mind, okay? <laughs> All right, so right here at the beginning of the month, we've got Venus who is no longer retrograde and we're all in a little celebration of that, but it is not retrograde right here in Scorpio on the second of the month. So this is going to light up your 12th house space. Now just here on the sixth of the month, we've got Mercury coming direct in the sign of Scorpio as well. So they're both here in the 12th house space. Now, I wanna point out something quickly. Even though Mercury is coming direct here on the 6th, then it will start to relieve communication. It will start to relieve these misunderstandings and business and negotiations and signing contracts, making deals. All of that can start to move forward. Please keep in mind that Mercury is just coming direct. He's got to stretch. He has to have his matcha. He has to get his life together before he's back in full orbit and really giving blessings, okay? So keep that in mind. I don't want you to use that as a fear-based reality check, but just keep in mind that the energies are coming online. It just may take a little bit of time, okay? But both Venus and Mercury right here in your 12th house space, the very first thing that I think of is letting go of that past, letting go, letting it seep through. The 12th house is the house of transition. You've got Venus here. She's trying to bring harmony to things of the past, things of guilt or shame or or things that you're just holding on to. Remember, the 12th house is a space of your own undoing. So what is there to transition out of this energy? Venus is direct. She's bringing harmony. She's clear and she's helping you. She's like that, that nurturing energy holding you while you let go of the things that don't serve you anymore. You've got Uranus retrograde in this fifth house. 
What do you still have in the way of your joy and your expression, Sag? Get it the heck out of here. Let's let that go, right? Venus here also, let me just say this. Venus here, Mercury here in the 12th house, you could certainly see things from the past coming back. And I will tell you, if something from the past rolls back into your life, stand square with it, look at it, see what it's bringing to the table so that you can address it, and that may be how you transition that out. I also do feel like um, Venus and Mercury here because Mercury's of the mind, our thinking, and even our um, Claire's, right? In the 12th house, your psychic sense could be going crazy. That, that, sixth, that sixth sense right there could be lit up and what a beautiful energy to work with because the messages will likely come through very harmonious, very clear for you. So it's a wonderful energy to work with. Clean house, right? Trust the universe, clean house, help other people. That's the deal in the 12th house, right? Now, when we get to the seventh of the month, it just really kicks off, okay? Because not only do we have the sun and Jupiter already in your sign, so the sun saying, I'm Sagittarius, hear me shoot my arch thing, okay? <laughs> but Jupiter is home and wanting to expand you. Then we have a new moon happening in your sign, and on the 12th, Mercury moves into Sagittarius as well, so it is one big hot party in the sign of Sagittarius. So this is your first house. What a beautiful time, just at birthday energy, to be having a fresh launch of you, right? Uranus reviewing this joy house, this self-expression house. Venus and Mercury just helped you clean out this 12th house to get some things out of the way, and now you've got your launch. Now you've got your energy to push you forward. Maybe it's time for that new hairstyle. Maybe it's time to start presenting yourself to the world different, you know? Whatever it is, this is a really delicious energy to put you out there differently. And really what I think about this, if you've had the opportunity to kind of look at what the chart looks like, most of the energies for December sit in the northern part of the chart, so at the bottom, houses one through six. And this tells me that your business in December, probably into January as well, Sag, is to hustle hard quietly and let them just see the results, okay? You are in a redefining time and it's super exciting, so use that energy to launch. Now on the 22nd, we've got a full moon happening in Cancer. This lights up the eighth house space for you. The full moon says that we need to end something, acknowledge something, or adjust something. At the same time, we've got the sun on the other side in Capricorn, so lighting up the second house space. So your financial houses are lit up at this time, but they're going to bring an adjustment. Now that full moon in the eighth house. The eighth house, second house is all about giving and receiving, right? So you may have some adjustment in your money flow in some way, shape, or form. It may also be the energy of getting you out of your comfort zone, right? You've got to trust the process and get out of your comfort zone. Trust other people you're working with. Trust information that you're getting so that you can move something forward. It's such an intimate energy to help you launch forward into what you're trying to do. Now, the other things I think of with that full moon being there, sun on the other side, is this is a great time to make a plan to resolve your debt or any other financial situation you may be going on. And with a full moon, it could actually force you into positions where you're set to pay off something or you're paying out money in some way, shape, or form. Now, the sun on the other side, what it is trying to do is the lights are on there, right? It says, see me, I'm here, I'm bringing light, heat, life, and vitality to the table. So you could have money coming that way, but with the full moon over the next four weeks, it's almost like it's coming in, but you're also putting it out. Keep in mind too, this is, if you're in the United States, this is holiday time, so you could be making those fat dollars and spending them just as quickly, right? But whatever it is, it's an opportunity to bring shift to this area of your life, which is ultimately about clearing things up as well. So, really good month for you to get into a position, a more relaxed position to present yourself and move through your world a little bit differently, but keep in mind, hustle hard quietly, Sag, and just let them see the results on the other side, okay? All right, Sag, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I look forward to seeing you all through 2019. Of course, if you need a reading, a chart, any of that good stuff, come see me at stormygrace.com, all right? I love you guys. Bye.